Hey YouTube, it's Kristen. You're watching Chatterbox Budget. Thank you so much for joining me for video today. I hope everyone is doing well. It is Monday, March 21st, 2022. It's about 6 a.m. here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I thought I would do an office tour in honor of my two years of working from home. So I have a two-bedroom, two-bath apartment about 30 minutes south of Salt Lake City, Utah. And I've lived here for 13 years. I actually have been in the apartment complex for 19 years, but back in 2009, when my son was turning 12, we moved into this a bigger apartment, and he moved out with a roommate back in 2015 when he turned 18 years old. So I've had a two-bedroom, two-bath apartment to myself ever since then. Um, and then this, the smaller bathroom is in the hallway, and that's the, the cat cave. So there's a gate on the door with a with a cat door so the dog can't get in and that's where all of the cat stuff is and so that's where Buzzy can escape when he wants to just be left alone um, that's where his litter box is and everything so and then so the second bedroom the smaller bedroom I turned into my home office so back in 2015 it would have just been my computer and just some you know bookshelves and stuff but then two years ago when my company said we were gonna start working from home because of the pandemic I was able to turn it into an actual office office and it's just it's changed a lot over the years but not well, I shouldn't say it's changed. I've rearranged things and done things over the years, but this is what it looks like today. So that's the door to the office. Behind the door is a pop-up kennel that we use for Zeus during the day, like if I have a meeting or something and I need him to sit still, or if the cat just needs him to sit still while he goes down the hallway, because um, Zeus likes to chase the kitty cat, because that's what dogs do. Anyway, I think he's ca he's guarding him. He's a cattle guard dog, so. Okay, this shelf just has some random stuff on it. The top shelf has the some envelopes some supplies for HP Instant Ink, and then some little drawers that have just random stuff in them. Second drawer down is a basket with my prop mini binders and a, ch a change jar, which I don't really use because I don't use cash, but I just left it the change in there that I have. And then the bottom shelf is just a basket full of stuff that I got from the office that, uh, like there's just boxes, you know, things that came with my equipment when I brought it home that I just keep in there because I, when I return it, I need to have the stuff to, to, together. And then of course we have a fan because it gets really warm in here. There's Zeusy boy. Hi, baby. Where's your minty? Go get your minty. Go get your minty. Go get your minty. Yeah, go get your minty. He wants to go back outside. We just got back. Uh, this closet is a mess, but I'm going to show you anyway because why not? So <laughs> I have some random coats in here that I don't use. My snow pants I don't use. Um, and then just like a bin with all the, the scarves and gloves. Those are the ones I don't use on a daily basis. And then I've got some, um, let's see. There's a basket with some like um, duffel bags and stuff. That top thing on the top is another shelf organizer for the closet that I just haven't figured out what to do with yet. And then some more co coats at the back that I need to get rid of because they're too small. And then board games at the top. And then over here, just some old, my old CDs and then video games, extra random baskets. And then I've got a TV behind that that I don't use. So I don't want to throw it away because it's still useful. I just, I just keep it up there in case I need it eventually. So. Anyway, that's the closet. I need to go through and, and clean that up, but I'm not too worried about it right now. And then we have a printer. I bought that printer actually in January of 2020, which was before anything had happened. Uh, but it's been really nice to have it because I, since I do work from home and I don't print a ton, um, it's just nice to have it here. And then I have a shredder and then I have a garbage can in front of that. I've got a bunch of random stuff I'm throwing away from my Happy Planner collection that I no longer use. And then I've got filing cabinet, and then there's some drawers with my, pa there's some copy paper, some sheet protectors, and some legal pads, and then there's my compact planner, Franklin planner. And then this is my home computer, which I don't use very much, but um, I keep it because I do like to have it for little things once in a while. Um, like if I'm in here cleaning, I could turn on Netflix and watch whatever I want to or something. And I do need to replace it, but I haven't done it yet. So the monitor is actually pretty new. I bought that in, 2000, uh, in 2020. So when I first started working from home, I was using my personal computer um, because I had, I didn't, I didn't know I was going to be working from home when I left the office that day. So I didn't bring anything. And at that point, they weren't having us bring home our equipment because it wasn't, we didn't know, we thought it was just going to be like for a week or two. Anyway, then there's my um, classic size planner. That's my catch-all planner. It's got a lot of different things in there. And then over here is this area where I film. Um, I've only done one video there so far. This is the table that used to be in the living room. I bought it specifically for filming, but I, it was taking up too much space and just getting cluttered in there. And so I turned it up into a desk for my home computer. Then the baskets below or the boxes, bins, whatever below have just some random office supplies and stuff. And then we've got post-it notes and index cards, extra chair, extra table. And then this, this bookshelf has a huge amount of things on it. So the top shelf, is uh, there's a doll that my mom made for me and then I've got some kids books most of them are books that my 
that we read when my son was a, was a teenager or younger. And then I do have like Little House on the Prairie books um, and the others that are keepsakes for me from when I was a kid. Second shelf down is another section of, of like juvenile books or kids books um, that I keep because they have sentimental value. And then of course all my little knick knacks. Um, and then I've got the, the next shelf down is my all my self help books, which I need to go through and get rid of because I don't really use them. But I. I, I don't know. I, had to, I haven't done it because I don't really need the space, so I just leave them there. And then the next row down is my books on writing, which I learned a long time ago that I cannot write fiction. I just don't have the uh, creative capacity for it. But I've kept the books because I invested a lot of money in them, and I'm hoping one day to be able to unlock that part of my brain and be able to do it. And the bottom row is just religious books. And then at the top of the shelves, there's a Transformer mask that is Optimus Prime, and I just like the voice it makes. I think it's fun. And then there's a trophy behind that from when my son played football. It's the year they went to championships, I think, or something. Um, I've just kept it because that time in our lives meant a lot to me, and so that just helps me remember those times. And then there's a keepsake box my grandpa made. That wood one is a keepsakes box. The boxes on top of that are empty. Those are photo boxes I need to, to put into use. They were holding up my computer monitors for a while, but they're not anymore. And then I've got a thing with some random... Um, thermal pouches for laminating. I can't fit them in the drawers over here, so I just put them up there. And then I've got more pictures. And then this is Buzzcat's bed. He likes to sleep on backpacks and, and different kinds, kinds of bags. So I gave him two backpacks that I no longer use to sleep on. So they're covered in fur because he's a very furry cat. And then I've got a basket with his toys in it and his brushes. I keep him in here because this is where we spend most of our time. And so this is where he is all the time. And so this is where I tend to brush him. So there's a basket for Zeus's tennis ball. He likes to put the ball on top of that pillow, and then I throw the ball for him. And then over here we have another bookshelf. The top of the bookshelf, the very, very top, there's a box, my printer box. That just has a bunch of different boxes from all my little small electronics. I just keep them in there to help keep them out of the way, and then other things are up there. Just kind of storage. And then I've got a basket with a bunch of cords in there that I need to go through eventually. Next shelf down is my, those are my happy planners, Aaron Condren planners, basically all my old planners. And I've got some random notepads and my laptop covers. And then there's some mini um, happy planners next to that. Next shelf down is just random office supplies. I've got like my mild liners up there, um, labels and just different things. They're kind of organized, but not really the, the best. The next shelf down is my Franklin planner shelf. That's got some of my Franklin planner supplies. Some of those are in the living room because that's where I usually do my uh, switch things out for the next month. And the next shelf down is just some filing and stuff that I need to clean up. My, my um, Fly Lady calendars that I used to use. I don't use them anymore, but I keep them for keepsakes. Paper cutter, and then there's the box for the laminator. It's not there. I think it's in the living room, but the box is there. Then there's a cat. Hi, Buzzy. This is Buzzy Cat. He's my my sweetheart. He was my grandma's cat, and then when she went into hospice care right before she passed away, the last thing she asked me to do was to take care of Buzzy for her. So he's been here ever since. That was five years ago. And then over here, we've got my, there's my work router, my work phone, and then it's not a landline, it's an actual, it's connected to the internet, but I like having an actual hard phone because I have hearing issues, and so using the soft phone, which is just an app for the computer, did not work for me. Then there's a bulletin board with my seven habits for highly effective people uh, calendar on it, and then just some charts and stuff I use for work. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet boy. He loves it when I'm in here because he wants attention, but we'll come in here and work in a few minutes and he can have my attention. He likes to sit on the, the keyboard tray. Okay, computer, I mean a picture, and then there's my certificate for my five-year award for my current company. Some sheet music, which is a random thing to have on the wall, but that hook was just there and I thought I need to put it somewhere safe so that I knew where they were. I've got to return them to my grandma. And then I've got my work computer. So I've got two monitors and then my work planner, and then down there I've got a keyboard tray with my keyboard and mouse on it, and then um, that's my work computer back there. And then I've got just like my pill bag, because I take Excedrin and my um, different things during the day, like allergy medicine and stuff, so I just keep them there because it's easier. I've been with like a pen and just different things for my planner in it, and then of course there's a trash can. Bottom shelf is left empty because that's Zeus, uh, Buzzy's escape path when he wants to get away <laughs> quickly. And then I've got a basket with just some cleaning stuff in it. Um, I'll, a tip. Flossers are really good for cleaning out keyboards. The pointy end works really well for getting fur out of my keyboard. And then I've just got a pen cup with scissors and stuff in it and then tissue and hand sanitizer. And then, yeah, some more pictures. So I have some Eiffel Tower. I have an Eiffel Tower, Paris, uh, New York, Brooklyn Bridge thing going on in my home, in my bedroom. And so I've had different pictures over the years that I've purchased at either Ross or Walmart. And then <laughs> the doorway again. And we've got Zeus's water fountain. It's a huge one. And then that's my medicine cabinet. So I used to have that with 
Um, sorry, the dog's chewing his, his minty. I, his treat. I used to have that, all of the medications and stuff in the kitchen, in the cupboard in the kitchen. And the shelf was, that shelf had some like different things like washcloths and stuff on it. But after a year of working from home, I realized how annoying it was to have to go get things like cough drops or whatever from the kitchen during the day. So I figured that this is actually halfway, it's like the middle of the apartment. So that's why this is water fountains there because it's right in the middle. So I figured I would put all the medications in the hallway. That way I can access them pretty easily from my bedroom, my office. It's a little bit farther to walk from my um, living room, but I, I mean, you know, not a big deal. But I need to go through and organize it because it's a big disaster right now. So anyway, that's my home office. Nothing too exciting, but it's where I spend 40 plus hours a week. Um, I don't really do a lot in here outside of work just because after working in here for 40 hours, I don't want to be in here anymore. But I am working, planning on being in here more because I do want to um, start using my home computer more. I would like to start gaming again. I love playing The Sims um, and doing other things on it. But and with filming videos in here and stuff, I'll be in here a little bit more. But it's basically just an extra room that I've been able to use more fully than I would have before. I love working from home. I'm very grateful for the privilege. It's very much um, because I do have fragrance sensitivity and allergies and asthma. It's been really nice to be at home because I can control my environment a little bit better. I do have um, like stuff does come through the fans and stuff from my neighbors. And I can't open my windows because of stuff that comes through. But I still, it's better than having someone who's cleaning their desk across the wall from me. And I start having asthma attacks or using cleaning supplies that I wasn't expecting. And so it's just been so much better. And also, just, I'm so much more productive because I can control my environment a lot better. And then I do have, of course, Zeus is by my side all day long. And then Buzzy, Buzzy will be here. He likes to hang out for a little while. And then eventually he'll get tired and he'll go sit down on his bed or whatever. He, um, he's actually gotten to where he can communicate with me when he wants to leave the room and he wants Zeus to be put in his kennel so that he can get out without being chased. Zeus doesn't chase him maliciously. Zeus just chases him because he's a dog and that's what they do. But he's a cattle guard dog. That's what his breed is. And so he, he likes to guard the cat. So <laughs> he'll escort him to the bathroom. Speaking of which, Buzzy wants to get down, don't you, Buzzy? Is that what you're saying, baby? Anyway, I better go get ready for work. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Can you say bye, Zuzi? I love her. You want to go outside again, don't you? I love you, sweetheart. Okay, we'll go outside in a minute, okay? Let me turn this off. I love you. Okay, hold on. Just a minute. I know. Just a second. Just a minute.